On day one, I spawned in as an evil witherstorm looming over a village. Although I had just spawned, my only desire was to consume the entire world and all of its inhabitants. I'm gonna grow bigger than any other entity. Just then, a scientist emerged before me and declared that, In a hundred days, my Formidabomb will be completed and your evil will be destroyed once and for all. I'd like to see you try. I charged up and fired a giant laser beam at him, but he was immune to my attack somehow. How am I supposed to stop him if he can't be consumed? <laughs> On day two, I arrived at another village for my next meal. I stormed the village using my lasers to demolish everything and everyone that stood in my path. <laughs> it's like cutting through butter. Ah, please don't eat me. <laughs> my hunger knows no end. I killed him in one fell swoop and absorbed him, filling my hunger. Yum. As my rampage continued, I absorbed each of my victims until I started to feel even stronger. Good night, little villagers. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, the more I consume, the more hearts I gain. Time to chow down. I demolished the entire village and absorbed every resident I could find, leaving me with a grand total of 70 hearts. Just then, an army of warriors arrived to confront my fury. As a group, they fired tons of arrows at me, dealing a bit of damage. Die, foul beast. Huh? Buzz off, maggots. I made quick work of them, summoning giant lightning bolts to do my bidding. Upon their deaths, I was able to take in their essence and restore the bit of health they took away from me. Wow, I'm unstoppable. Not even an army can take me down. On day three, I arrived at a pillager outpost, ready to continue my onslaught on this world. I used my wither skulls to burn the base to the ground. Not even aggressive mobs would stand a chance against me. However, after a lot of destruction, I didn't see a single pillager. What the? Where are my victims? In a fit of rage, I terrorized the outpost even more. I let my laser blast and demolish the earth deeper and deeper. I blasted away until I discovered the pillagers, taking cover in an underground bunker. You thought you could hide from me? Run! The pillagers tried to scurry away, but I was too powerful. I overwhelmed them with my incredible lasers. You won't be able to hide from this! I fired all of my fun new death rays at them, plummeting them further into the earth and giving me enough energy to gain 10 more hearts. My strength only continues to grow! On days four through seven, I sought out a new area to ravage, eventually coming upon a desert village. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, this is per- Wait. I realized there was a monster already destroying the place. Hey, this is my village to consume. Oh my gosh, you're the weather storm! I'm a huge fan! Well then back off before I eat you! Wait, is it true that scientist guy is making a Formidabomb? That's trouble for all us baddies. We should team up and take him out. I work alone. Even though he's immune to your attacks? Touché. I agreed to team up. After all, I could easily overpower her whenever I felt like it. As a team, we destroyed the rest of the village together. The monster was surprisingly skilled in destruction. Aha! This is my favorite part! Not bad for a newbie. As we finished our rampage, I managed to gain five hearts from a couple of mobs as a trophy. That was nice. What's your name? Call me Pandora. On days 8 through 12, I traveled with Pandora through multiple biomes, terrorizing as much as we could along the way. No! That was super fun. How about we separate for a bit? That way we can spread even more terror. Sounds good to me. We went our separate ways for now, and I flew until spotting a farm below. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. I descended onto my next victims and zapped them down for sport. While I was at it, I blew all the terrain to smithereens until nothing remained but a crater in the ground. After that, I used my black hole ability to suck up the remaining blocks. <laughs> I am the most powerful being in the universe. Just then, a monster emerged in the distance. Oh, are you another fan? No, I'm the worst nightmare. They flew into the sky and began to fight me. It was incredibly strong and fired strange green projectiles at me. They didn't look like much, but they packed a punch. I zapped the worm down with my lightning, causing it to break apart. However, the pieces grew new heads and continued to beat me down as a swarm. What's the big deal? The scientists created me to put you to an end. Now die. The battle raged on, but I managed to take down the beast and absorb their essence. As a result, I gained 10 hearts, but it was surprisingly close. Maybe this scientist guy is a bigger problem than I thought. On days 13 through 16, I reunited with Pandora and told her about my encounter with the monster. New look? Yeah, slightly. I like it. Anyways, the scientist can build his forces, but so can we. I can't be the only mob who admires your power. Huh, perhaps. And if anyone steps out of line, it's free dinner for me. 
We decided to create a secret organization for the evilest of mobs, but we weren't much of an organization without a headquarters. Better gather some materials. Using my black hole ability, I demolished some trees for wood and set up a crafting bench for myself where I made some wooden tools. Once I had what I needed, I went to go mine some cobblestone. Instead of mining the old fashioned way, I blew up my surroundings and gathered the cobblestone that remained. This is so much easier than mining. I quickly crafted some stone tools just in case and continued on my way in search of the perfect spot for our headquarters. While I searched, I realized that 90.9% .9 of the viewers watching weren't subscribed. Change that or else. Finally, I found the perfect spot, but there was a family of pigs living there already. You're being evicted. I made quick work of them, granting myself a free meal. I fired a horde of wither skulls at the pigs, causing explosion after explosion. It's raining bacon bits. <laughs> after I had my fun destroying their home, I used my telekinesis to pick them all up into the sky and launch them off 30 miles north. Once they were gone, I began to build the foundations of the base. It would have to be large enough to house not only me, but all the mobs that would join my forces for world domination. Well, this stinks. It's too hard to build at my size. I blasted my laser into the ground, realizing I had just made a cavern large enough to fit me. Huh, maybe underground is the way to go. I spent the rest of the day carving out some hallways and even a main room for my new lair. We would need a lot of space for my growing army and their wither king. On days 17 through 20, I explored more areas to spread my terror onto. I leveled the forest with my lasers and skulls, but nobody was around to consume. Man, without people here, this is boring. Just then, I spotted the scientist from day one fighting a horde of creepers in the distance. Wait, is he trying to gather gunpowder? At my tremendous size, it was impossible to stealth, so the scientist spotted me right away. It's not too late to stop this madness, my boy. Why would I stop? This is fun! Very well. It's your funeral. I'm sorry. The scientist took out his flash potion and threw it at the creepers. This caused them to transform into giant mutant creepers. Farewell. He ran off, and I tried to stop him with one of my lasers. But just like before, nothing happened. What the heck? How does he do that? I had no choice but to fight off the mutants. They were tough and had the power of multiple creepers combined into one. I summoned lightning down upon them, but it only made them stronger. Ugh. Let's see how you like this, you freaks. My laser beam set them ablaze, dealing massive damage, but I wasn't satisfied. I pulled all the ground from under them and spun them in the air, terrorizing them, making sure the scientist's pets wouldn't come back. I managed to take down the beasts, causing a massive explosion to destroy the ground more. Although the destruction was nice, I felt humiliated after my run-in with the scientist. I have to figure out his secret. On days 21 through 24, I did some recon from the sky to get new clues on the whereabouts of the scientist. Villagers and animals alike cowered in fear as I flew by. <laughs> Run away, cowards! I pressed on, and I noticed a player's base and decided it would be my next location to terrorize. As I approached, some players ran outside and pointed at me. The weather storm is here! Run! Ah! Oh no, Tom has his AirPods in! It's too late for him! Keep moving! I saw everyone evacuate aside from the foolish boy with the headphones. I thought I might as well have some fun and waited over Tom's head silently. Guys, where are you? Boo. I absorbed Tom for an extra five hearts, bringing me to a hundred hearts. I demolished the rest of their base in celebration. <laughs> I love being me. On days 25 through 28, I flew around seeking my next meal until I spotted a field full of cows. I've always liked steak. I made quick work of the cows in the field they called their home. They went down in seconds to my lasers and incredible powers. Yes, more, more! <laughs> Just then, an army of lethal cows appeared in the distance. How could you devour our cow, brethren? For that you would pay, beast! It's not my fault you guys are delicious! The lethal cows began to fire an onslaught of missiles and gunfire at me, which dealt a small amount of damage in comparison to my total number of hearts. Is that really all you got? I am all powerful! I continue to use my laser abilities, lighting the entire area ablaze and destroying each lethal cow in my way. Once all my enemies were dealt with, I found a letter in the rubble. Join the cause against the Wither Storm and take him down from the inside. Visit Wither Labs today. Not only is he creating monsters, but recruiting them too? Are they building a revolution against me? On days 29 through 32, I returned to my base to regroup. Pandora was waiting there faithfully for me, as all good worshippers should. How was your destruction today? Delicious. But I'm sick of that scientist being a thorn in my side. He's building an entire army to try to take me down. He 
he's creating a resistance? We can't let this happen. We'll have to build ours even faster and stronger immediately. Might I suggest you stay here and fortify our defenses while I go recruit more fiends? Yeah, good idea. Be gone. I need to focus. Yes, sir. While expanding my base to house more creatures, I mind to find more valuable resources. With new materials and my ingenious mind, I can craft more armor and weapons for my forces. With my base looking bigger than ever, Pandora returned with new potential warriors. What? This is the super cool HQ you are talking about? It's a hole in the ground! Uh, yes? This isn't evil enough. I thought your leader was like the ultimate evil monster or something. Yeah, yeah. what, what gives? gives? Yeah, what gives? I flew outside of the base with my materials just in time to hear these lowlifes. <sighs> You ungrateful swine. I shot down the foul mouth with one zap. Any more complaints? No, sir. Good. I'll expand this base if and when I want to. If you have a problem with it, I'll just have to eat you. Hopefully you taste better than your friend. Understood? Yeah, yes, sir. On days 33 through 36, I set off to continue my destruction of the world. Must consume. After much traveling, I discovered a village covered in skeleton statues. It was clear to me that this was no ordinary village, but one that was populated entirely by skeletons. They're a bit bony for my tastes, but oh well. Wait! Just then, a messenger skeleton scurried up to me. Please, we've heard of your terror throughout the lands. Please spare us. What can you offer me? We are poor people, but we can give you bone blocks and steak. I shall take this offering. And so, you'll spare us? Huh. Nah. I started to destroy the houses with all of my powers. I rained wither skulls onto their village and listened to the sounds of skeletons screaming in terror. Music to my ears! While I was at it, I decided to destroy the skeleton statues as well. This should be fun! I honed in my power and used my lasers to level the statues down into the scorched earth. As the sun rose, I looked out onto the disaster site, listening to the screams of skeletons burning in the background. Ah, another perfect day. On days 37 through 41, I wanted to improve my HQ to look more fitting for a Lord of Darkness. So I began work on another portal. It's destruction time. I used my lasers to blast into the terrain below. As each layer of blocks melted away, I was able to see deeper and deeper of the potential location of ore. I chipped away at the earth until I discovered diamond. Sweet. I lasered with the diamond and used it to craft myself a diamond pickaxe. Afterwards, I found some obsidian in the earth below and mined it. With all the materials I needed gathered, I made myself a giant nether portal and jumped in. On the other side was the fiery depths of the nether. For most, it was a place to be feared, but for me, it was a playground to conquer for myself. I blasted away at the nether, scorching down multiple biomes and mobs that stood in my way. <laughs> my destruction caught the attention of a few local zombified piglins. Whoa, you're, uh... I'm what? Super cool. Y yeah, what he said. <laughs> I know. Want to join my evil society? Can we say no? Do you want to die? We'd love to join you. I tossed them over a map and kept moving along, being sure to blast away at any structure that caught my interest. I made sure to gather the remains for my own uses. Once I had enough blocks, I returned to the base and moved forward with my expansion. I added access to the base using the blocks I found from the nether. I gave it plenty of variety so that it was clearly the pinnacle of evil. After a lot of replacing, I finally finished my little project. There, it's more evil, but it's still missing something. I gathered my lackeys and told them my newest demand. I expect a monument built in my honor. But there's hardly any food here. How are we supposed to do that if we're starving? I don't know. Figure it out or you'll be in my stomach. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. On days 42 through 46, I worked up a big appetite from all of that carving. So I set off in search of some mobs to consume. As I traveled, I made sure to spread as much mayhem as I possibly could. The job of a wither storm never ends. Suddenly, I stumbled upon an army of lethal chickens, all with their guns aimed right at me. Halt, beast! Your destruction ends here! Oh, I love chicken nuggies! Let's go! I shot down my lasers, ready to make quick work of the birds. But when the fire cleared, nothing happened. You're immune now too? Ha oh! <laughs> ha! Do you like our little surprise? Now what was that about chicken nuggets? The fleet of chickens began firing a flurry of bullets at me. I tried to fight back, but my powers were completely useless. I had no choice but to flee. This stinks! I just want to consume! 
To relieve my rage, I destroyed as much of the terrain as I could on the way home. Once I arrived, I told Pandora what happened, in hopes that she may have an idea of what to do. Good news! I've been working on something that could unveil how the scientist has been immune to your attacks. I need more time, though. Ugh, fine. Hurry it up. On days 47 through 51, I still needed a good meal after my loss with the chickens. Luckily, I quickly discovered another village for me to devour. <laughs> Finally, some good old-fashioned screaming! One by one, the villagers emerged from their houses, and I waited in sweet anticipation for their horrified reactions. Oh my gosh! It's the almighty Witherstorm! We've been rewarded with its presence! Hooray! What? Joy? Fear me! To prove a point, I showered Wither Skulls down onto their land, destroying one of their homes and a villager inside. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Let's feed on our people, powerful ruler! You guys are weird. I went ahead and took care of the rest of the village, leveling it down until nothing remained. In the process, I absorbed a number of their people by killing them in a number of ways. <laughs> I've been chosen! Thank you! I destroyed the village until nobody remained. By the end of my carnage, I had gained a grand total of 120 hearts. Okay then, at least they were tasty. On days 52 through 56, I continued my conquest, feeling stronger than ever. I'm making quick pace. At this rate, I'll consume the entire world before day 100. Not if I have something to say about it. I looked down, spotting the scientist below me. Ah, if it isn't the little pest. Do you really think you stand a chance? If I don't, then why couldn't you kill a group of measly chickens? Silence! In a fit of rage, I began to attack the scientist. I blew up the ground all around him. Bye bye, little scientist. The smoke cleared, and the scientist was left still standing. That isn't gonna work. Take this. He fired an enchanted arrow, transforming me back into a phase one wither storm. I now only had 15 hearts. You'll regret this! I'll come back stronger than ever and consume everything, starting with you! I then flew away. There was no way I could fight the scientist in my current state. On days 57 through 59, I had to consume, and fast. I started by using my powers to suck up the animals and residents from multiple biomes. Biome after biome, I destroyed and consumed. As I did, I grew bigger and bigger. After a lot of work, I had 30 hearts again. This is great! Not even a setback like this is enough to stop me. The sky cleared, and then a mutant blaze emerged from the distance. I finally found you. The scientist has sent me to finish you off while you're weak. Weak? <laughs> I'll make you my next meal. With determination, I rushed in to fight the monster. The fight was intense. At my current size, he was a worthy competitor. You know you're only able to keep up because I was weakened. <laughs> I'll never go down without a fight! We don't have to make this difficult, Storm! I used all the abilities I could muster in my current form, striking him with lightning and lasers. The tricky beast spawned tiny clones of itself to send even more flames my way. I summoned all of my strength, finally finishing off the mutant blaze. This caused me to absorb an insane amount of energy, restoring me to my original form, making me bigger and giving me even more hearts than before. <laughs> that foolish scientist made me even more powerful than before. On days 60 through 61, now that I had a huge power boost, I figured it was time to return to my base. When I arrived, I checked the status of my monument. It was certainly a start, but I was displeased by the progress. Why aren't you finished yet? We're working as quick as we can, sir. Well, work faster! Once I put my men in their place, I crafted a sword, just in case another mob was immune to my powers. After that, I began to expand the base, carving in multiple rooms to house my new recruits. When I was done, one of my residents walked up to me. Um, Witherstorm, sir, can we please have beds? No, I can't fit in a bed, therefore no one else is allowed to have them. Sir, I think it will greatly boost morale to have proper sleeping quarters. Ugh, fine, whatever. I went outside, killing multiple sheep with my lasers. After that, I crafted beds, placing them in all of the rooms. It didn't take long before new mobs saw the additions. Wait, this place has beds? Sign me up. Fine, you may join my ranks. 
Once everyone was settled in, I went to ask Pandora about her research's progress. I just completed it. The scientist has a factory that I think is the source of what is making these mobs immune. Take this map and check it out. Thanks, Pandora. You're the only mob that gets things done here. On days 62 through 65, I followed the map to eventually find a factory. I loomed over the factory's glass roof to find that they were manufacturing mysterious charms. This must be how the scientist men are immune to my attacks. Time to say goodnight. <laughs> Just then, a couple of guards burst through the front door to confront me. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, don't you know what this place is? You guys must not know who I am. Let me show you. I began firing an onslaught of wither attacks, but they are unfazed. I quickly realized they are protected by the charm's effects. Immune to my attacks, I see. Time to go old school. I pulled out my sword and began dealing normal attacks to the guards. Eventually, I managed to knock the charms out of their hands. Nope. Uh-oh. I lasered them dead, gaining five extra hearts in the process. Nice. Just that much more unstoppable. I think it's time to demolish the factory. I then began leveling the structure down to a pole, leaving nothing behind. Destroying the factory ended up deactivating all of the charms, making them useless. Interesting. I wonder if that deactivated all of them? Only one way to find out. Lethal chickens, here I come. On days 66 through 68, I was feeling really good after destroying the factory. So I continued to travel and find those lethal chickens to test my theory. After some time, I managed to find the same lethal chickens from before. Time for some good old fashioned revenge. Oh, look who it is. The overgrown red cloud is back for more. I wouldn't be so confident if I were you. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't stop us. We've got these wither charms on our side. You're a chump. Ha ha ha, huh? What happened? Ha, <laughs> it did work. Looks like it's extermination time. I began taking them all out one by one, dropping them like flies. How is he doing this? Why aren't our charms working? I finished off the last one, leaving only feathers and rubble behind. I also gained three extra hearts from winning the battle, bringing my total to 158. <laughs> the scientists will be no match for me now. On days 69 through 71, I went back to check on my base. When I got there, I noticed that progress on the statue had stopped. What's all this? Why aren't they working on my monument? I went over to Pandora to see what the hubbub was all about. Morale is down, Max. Why would it be down? Don't they value their lives? They're scared of you. Inspire them. You're their leader. Huh. Okay. I then gathered everyone around for a speech to give them some motivation. Hello, everyone. Ahem. <clears throat> As you know, I am your leader, and I am very powerful, and can end you at any moment! <laughs> Max! Sorry, uh, what I meant is that, uh, you guys are all doing, um, good? Thanks, boss. Silence! Max! Uh, I, I mean, of course, my loyal minion. Okay, well, now that I've been very inspirational, back to work! Max, what was that? Yeah, I think fear is the best motivation I have. On days 72 through 74, I checked on the status of my army and prepped for my journey ahead. Faithful servants, give me your attention. What say you? Um, we're doing good, Master? Good? Uh, um, um, I mean, we're doing fine, Master. Fine? Ah, uh, sorry, Master. We're, we're loyal, faithful... Forever your tools of destruction, master. Huh, that's better. Be gone. With my minions in line, I left to feed my hunger. It wasn't long before I saw that annoying scientist again in the distance. It looked like he was testing something. But what? Ugh, what is that filthy scientist up to? The scientist activated his strange device, causing it to flash uncontrollably and create a massive and bizarre explosion. <laughs> Does he think a puny weird TNT will stop me? I'm practically a walking TNT! <laughs> I turned around and left. Maybe that scientist was nothing to be worried about. With my powerful stomach growling, I hunted down and consumed everything in my path. It all had to be mine. The scientist will never stop me. I am all powerful. On days 75 through 78, I continued on my way back to the base. While traveling, I came across a massive city. 
Whoa, I didn't know this was here. Time to go full Godzilla. I began demolishing the giant city with no remorse, using every wither power at my disposal to decimate the landscape. I was able to topple buildings in one fell swoop. I am so powerful. <laughs> the residents ran in terror as I blew everything away that was in my path. This is Chad Chickles reporting to you live on the scene for Action 5 News. I am standing in the middle of a giant wither storm. This evil monster has entered our beautiful city, tearing it apart one building at a time. Oh, a camera! Hi! Look, Ma! I'm famous! <laughs> As you can see, this monstrosity is very evil and quite unstoppable. Back to you, Tom. I continued to tear down the city, leaving nothing behind. Once I was done, I managed to rack in some hearts. Woo! Two more hearts! Once I had my fill, I headed back home. On days 79 through 82, I had a nightmare. I was back in the lab, the day I was first summoned by none other than the scientist. Oh my gosh, it worked! The command block really brought you to life! Hi there, little one. You're here to make the world a better place. A better place? Exactly right, my boy. Here, let me grab something. The scientist left and re-entered the room with a bunny. This here is a bunny rabbit, and it's very sick. You can make it better, though. Without another thought, I lasered the bunny down where it stood. No, young Wither, that is wrong. We don't want to hurt others, but help them. But I want to destroy. What? I floated up into the air and began to destroy everything within my vicinity. The lab crumbled apart, and the scientists watched in horror. What have I done? I've created a monster. Just then, I woke up. Ugh, just a bad dream. On days 83 through 86, I resumed my mayhem in the overworld, because that's what wither storms do. I blew a number of craters into the ground until suddenly I accidentally blew into a stronghold, revealing a lit end portal. Whoa, I wonder what's inside. I traveled inside, arriving at the end. There, the Ender Dragon waited at the center, surrounded by a horde of Endermen. I'm the most powerful being in all universes. Who dares challenge me? The new most powerful being. I started blasting my lasers all over the place, slaying Endermen in mass and causing the pillars to crumble in a matter of seconds. How is this possible? You're not just any creature. You're pure evil itself. That's right. I'm the Wither Storm. I slayed the Ender Dragon with these and gained 10 hearts in return. Wow, I'm even stronger now. On days 87 through 90, I returned to the base to find that Pandora had populated it even further. Isn't it noisy here? Sir, these mobs are here to help the cause. Why don't you show them a bit of respect? Uh, yeah, no. I expanded the HQ a bit more to accommodate the new influx of people. Once the boring part was done, I went to observe the status of my monument. It was finally complete. What do you think, sir? I think it's not nearly good enough to honor my immense power and greatness. I quickly used my telekinesis power to hurl the weakling across the overworld. <gasps> Feel lucky you don't suffer a similar fate. If you can't fix it, I will. I stormed away and blew up the ground some more for fun. During my destruction, I stumbled upon more diamond. Normal beings would have been excited, but a measly diamond didn't match a fraction of my power. I'll take it anyways. I absorbed it using my black hole ability and used it to craft a diamond block that fixed the error in my monument. All of that destruction for one block? You just earned yourself throne duty. Get to work or perish. I sat back and enjoyed as the terrified piglin built me a magnificent throne out of gold. Once he was finally done, the base was complete. A base fit for the ultimate life form. Just then, Pandora approached me. Hey, I was watching the news in the city you destroyed the other day rebuilt. <laughs> Time for round two. On days 91 through 94, I excitedly returned to the city for delicious seconds. All of a sudden, I saw that some freakish gorilla was trying to take what's mine. Hey, ugly. This is my turf! Get your fuzzy tail out of here! The two of us began to fight in a battle of epic proportions. Unluckily for him, I could fly. I overwhelmed him with my lasers. And once he was low enough in health, I scorched both the ape and the floor, sending him to the Earth's core. Ugh. Now for my reward. 
my delicious reward. After an annoying fight roll was rightfully mine anyway, I consumed the whole city again. Mm-hmm. Even better the second time. This is Chad Chickles reporting to you live on the scene for Action 5 News, where an evil massive flying monster has entered the city and is destroying everything in its path. Again! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> I leveled the entire city, leaving nothing left but dust and ash. My meal was so filling that I gained 10 hearts. I'm the most powerful creature in the world! Rawr! On days 95 through 96, I returned to my base to find that all of my allies had left. Pandora was the only one left. What? I just expanded the base! With all due respect, sir, you were really mean to all of them. It's not my fault they're pathetic worms! They'll pay for crossing me! In a fit of rage, I went to search for any cowardly subjects. After some traveling, I found them all at a campsite. Found you. Ah, uh, uh, Witherstorm, sir, we... Just thought you'd have a little vacation, huh? Uh, yes, exactly. We all just figured a little break would be nice. Oh, really? I see. And you're not abandoning your overlord and his mission? No, of course no. Because you know what I'd have to do to you if you abandoned the mission, right? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Anyways, die? I used an intense amount of power, eliminating everyone at the campsite in one foul swoop. That's why I work alone. After that, I return to the base. I think it's time for the scientists to go down too. Wait, sir, I've been getting some strange activity on my radar. He might have a secret weapon up his sleeve. Uh, whatever. I'm so powerful, he doesn't stand a chance. But sir. Are you arguing with your overlord? No, sir. Very good. On days 97 through 98, I found the scientists fiddling with more explosives. Ah, the wither storm has returned. You've really been stirring up trouble. Yes, I have. But that's what I was meant to do. No, young wither. You were meant to help the people of this world. Your lasers and your immense power can heal as well as destroy. I have no intentions of helping anyone except myself. And that's why you are my greatest disappointment. And that's why you're such a pain in my side. I will be until the day I die. Then let's speed up that process. Goodbye, scientist. I lasered him, but he was still immune to my attacks. But how? Did you really think I'd use those silly pendants? My protection is far stronger. And now, you'll never stop me from using the Formida Bomb, but I don't have to. Please, Witherstorm, listen to me. You were meant for good. By now, you're just a villain, a plague on this earth. Let me help you see the light. I stormed off and raged, blowing up as much stuff as I could. Stupid scientist, stupid immunity, stupid base! Just then, Pandora ran up to me. Wait! I finally pinpointed the location of the secret weapon! If you're fast enough, you can destroy it before day 100! Why didn't you tell me sooner? You know what? I was wrong about you. You stink! I thought I was evil, but you're unhinged! Dude, and not in a cool way! Pandora threw a map at me. Continue your evil plans. I'm going to go do some community work to get this bad taste out of my mouth. Well, back to being alone. On day 99, I arrived at the location Pandora pointed me to. It was a beacon, surrounded by the scientist's guards. This has to be the source of his immunity. If this pillar goes down, so does the scientist's protection. But I might as well have some fun first. Instead of going straight for the beacon, I began to fight off all of his guards. There were a lot of them, and they were all armed with powerful guns, but they were no match for my wither skulls. I melted away the entire force using my incredible powers. <laughs> Nobody can stop me! As a countermeasure, the lethal cows and chickens jumped into the fray. They were also armed with powerful weapons of their own, but they went down just as easily as the battles before. All of these pathetic mobs don't stand a chance! Think again. Just then, a group of mutant husks emerged from the wreckage. I could tell just by looking at them that they were some of the most elite mutants the scientists had ever manufactured. Finally, a worthy opponent! I shot down the mobs below using all of my powers. Thanks to my ability to fly, it was hard for the pathetic bees to land a hit. But whenever they did, it actually packed a punch. They realized that face-to-face -face combat wouldn't be effective, so they started to throw sand at me from the ground below, blinding me. However, my immense amount of hearts served as impenetrable armor. They just couldn't ditch enough damage to win. 
With one vital attack, the last husk fell to their knees. The battle ended, leaving me with a grand total of 200 hearts. I'm stronger than ever before! With everyone out of the way, I finally destroyed what was left of the beacon. Now all that's left is the scientist. On day 100, I loomed over the wreckage of my previous battle, seeking out the scientist that had started it all. It was time for me to end this and take what I wanted. Come out from hiding, coward! Just then, a massive mecha robot descended from the sky. I see you found my beacon. I have to say, that is inconvenient, but doesn't mean I won't stop at nothing to stop you. You think a fancy mech could stop me? I'll melt that thing with one laser. I summoned you for greatness, for the betterment of humanity. But you've only caused destruction. You're the creation I regret most. For that, my dear boy, I'm deeply sorry. Enough talking, I'm hungry. And with that, our final fight began. Using his powerful blade, the mecha slashed me down, taking massive amounts of my health with each hit. It was a skillful swordsman, but luckily I wasn't a pushover either. I used a combination of my wither skulls, lasers, and lightning to attack the robot from the safety of the sky above. We were neck and neck, but I still had the edge. Using more power than ever before, I shot a flurry of lasers, destroying the mecha. The scientist was now vulnerable. Do you have any last words, dear creator? The scientist then set down a Formida bomb. Yes, goodbye. He lit the bomb, running away as far as he could. No! And with that, peace was restored to the overworld.